Hey guys, Andrew McCroom here from Golf University, and with me today is one of the Search for Scratch subscribers, Greg. Greg, welcome to the call. Hello, Andrew. Mate, uh, I guess the best uh, place for us to start is tell me what your issue is or challenge is at the moment in relation to your golf. Uh, just a long history of anxiety um, over my game. I've always been a good golfer since a kid. You know, uh, single figures since 15, won club championships. Um, and I noticed, you know, later on, under pressure, things were starting to go a little awry. But this wasn't so much early in the uh, golfing life, but later on I'd sort of noticed that I couldn't finish a round off, you know. It was maybe the last hole, then it was three holes. And then as I got older and stuff, I, I found that I, I was starting with this anxiety. You know, first two jitters, which I'd never had before. Yeah. I have to worry about it. Very so, good. Yeah. So, mate, I just want to say thanks for your courage, I guess, because you're speaking out for a lot of golfers. A lot of them just don't you know, know what to do with it, etc. So it's great that you're on the call, and hopefully we can get to the bottom of it for you. No worries. it would be good. Okay, so the first, I guess, thing I want you to do is how, how would you describe it if you put it in a sentence? You mentioned uh, in your email to me as fear of failure, um, but how would yep. you mention, like what is it for you if you were to term it something? Well, in real terms, you know, when I'm actually playing, I, I get anxious before a game if uh, it's that expectation of what sort of game I'm going to have for the day, you know, and it becomes a, a worry. And as much as I try and relax or if I'm playing... Uh, with new ple people or some good golfers and they see I'm off six or five or whatever I'm off at the time and, you know, they expect good golf and if you start hitting a few wayward shots, um, that really starts to trigger, you know, the emotions. Fantastic. So yeah. you're familiar with the my philosophy, or you might not be, but uh, my philosophy around all of this is, is your external reality being that your physical body and your physical environment being everything outside of you. Uh, is a reflection of your internal environment, be that your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, which then uh, lead to behaviours that then create your external. So the first clue that I got out of what you've already said is expectation. You're, it's like you're, yep. you're, well, you tell me, are you concerned what others think of you? Oh, for sure. That That's always been in the game. As I said, you know, I've been a fair golfer, not a great golfer, just a, I've been so, so what are you playing pretty good for a long time. I'm out to seven, but it's only three months ago I was playing off four or five, so... Very good. So you are a very good golfer, let's be honest. Oh, it's, it's average, yeah. <laughs> so very I, humble. I expect, I expect better. That's the problem. I, should, I feel I should be still down to, you know, a low mark. Yeah, and do, do you mind me asking your age? Yeah, I'm just turned 60 this year. Very good. So you're yep. a good golfer and you're... Yep. You know, for some of your age, a very good golfer. Um, so what I want to do, the, the other context of what I'm about and Search for Scratch is all about is feeling is healing. So our feelings tell us something, right? They're here to communicate with us. And usually with them will come a message, right, or an insight. And yep. what we traditionally do as men in particular is we don't want to feel them and we will do everything but. So we'll drink, we'll smoke, we'll gamble, we'll have sex, we'll do work hard, we'll do anything we can to avoid feeling feelings. Yeah, well, I'm sure plenty of golfers out there know that, um, you know, I've certainly gone down the road of having a few beers while I play golf and that can work short term, but I've found over a longer period that uh, that certainly didn't work. It, you know, I love having a couple of beers with your mates, but uh, in the end then I was starting to have a drink before golf just to make myself feel okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's give this a term. What are we calling it? Fear of failure or fear of other people, what they think of me, or which one, or something else? Which, what's, what do you want to talk about? Uh, I think it's fear of failure that, you know, just that uh, can't produce when I, I just want to, you know, I don't have to hit a great shot. I think it's that perfection we're all trying to strive, and of course, you know, we can't do it. And so, yeah, that's that fear of failure that I can't even do a good shot anymore. I just want something. Okay, so it becomes paralysing. Yeah, for sure. I, it's definitely it's become physical with me. You, yeah. you think on a downswing and you go, what happened there? You know, you feel the jitters and whatever. Yeah. 
It's terrible. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes for me. Yep. I want you to take three deep breaths. So the key with breathing is it's just going to help you relax. And then as you do, you keep doing that now for the rest of the time. I just want you to be as relaxed as you possibly can because I really want you to tune into internally what's going on. And I want you to answer, when I ask you questions, I want you to answer them as soon as you can. So literally within one to two seconds, your subconscious will give you an answer or a memory or whatever comes up, okay? And I'll keep prompting for that. But um, we, what I don't want is too much story. It's not really about the story. It's just making sure we're staying on point, okay? Yep. So I want to ask you, first question, in your body, where do you feel fear of failure when you're playing golf? Probably nine way across the chest. Very good. Okay, so what size is that? Oh, it fills my whole chest. Yeah. What shape is it? Uh, I can't really discern its shape. Yeah, is it just a chest shape, or is it yeah. outside of your chest, or is it in yeah. it like just? No, I I don't feel it as a as a shape. Yeah. Just that physical feeling. Okay, and size wise, is it as big as your chest? Uh yes. Yeah. Yeah, what temperature is it? Uh, it's warm. Yeah, and texture? No, I don't have a texture. Okay, no. keep, keep deep breathing for me into the chest yep. and just tell me what's the feeling associated with it? Oh, it's just that fear. Good, so it's fear. Okay, so I just want you yep. to feel more fear. And this is going to, be, again, be contradictory to what we're taught, but um, I want you to feel it for me. Feeling is healing, so it's going to have a message at some point, okay? So if we don't feel it, we suppress it, and if we suppress it, it comes back in other ways, and usually it will turn up at golf. So what I want you to do, let's feel it, and on a scale of 0 to 10, if 10 was the most you could feel it, what would you say it is right now? Right now, well, it's about a 5. Cool. So can you feel a 6 yep. for me? Can you really try and enhance it, and maybe remember a time that you did really feel it, like a lot more than now? And if you do, let me know when and where and what happened. And keep breathing for me. Because fear is not going to want you to breathe. It tries to restrict your breathing. Yeah, the heart rate's up. It's up to seven or eight now. Very good. So just nice deep breaths. And all we're doing is allowing it to be felt, right? We're giving it a voice, essentially. It's got a message for you. And see if you can feel it even more. and even more. And even more. And just keep breathing it for me. What is it on a scale of zero to 10 now? Uh, the heart rate's up, I'd say nine now. Good, so just keep sitting in it for me. It won't go, and it won't take long before it dissipates. It'll change to another vibration or a feeling. Right. I want to ask you, what is the memory associated with this feeling? And it'll be within three or four seconds it'll come up. Uh, golf, in bad job. Yeah. So just, uh, is there anything specifically, like a memory? Uh, yeah, just having something like a shank out wide, you know, and you're just amazed where did that come from. Yeah, so just breathe that for me, nice and deep. Yeah, it's almost a shock thing, isn't it? Yep, definitely, that's, the, that's the word, it's definitely a shock. Yeah, so feel shocked for me, that's a different feeling, so let's feel shocked. Well, yeah, another one, it's not, a, it's not an easy feeling to feel, um, and often when we go into shock, we go into actually other feelings to try and protect us from feeling it. So just on a scale of 0 to 10, how shocked do you feel? Just hit a shank. Uh, seven. Yeah, so feel it even more for me. And even more. And where do you feel that? That's right in my, right my heart and the chest again. Yeah. Heart rate up. Yep. Then nice deep breath. And keep breathing into the chest. Just sort of put wherever the sensation is, you're literally breathing into it. 
And so you're shocked that you've made that, um, or you've done the shank. Why Why are you shocked? Uh, I shouldn't hit that shot. Yeah, why is that? Um, too good to hit that shot. Yeah, so nice deep breaths. You've just hit the shank. You're feeling shocked. It creates fear. You're too good to hit that shot. Who says so? And it's not you. It's someone else. Who who would say that to you in the past? Oh, mate, I've even remember him saying, I've never seen you hit a shot like that. It may not be a shank, but it'll be a bad one. Yep. So you can see your mate. You don't have to name him, but you can see him? No. Yep. No. Good. So just breathe into that conversation, essentially. Hey, mate, I'm really shocked that you even did that. You're, you're too good for that. Yep. And how does that feel as I say that? Pretty demoralising. Yeah, good. So I want you to feel demoralised. That's another feeling, right? Doesn't usually happen very often because you're good, but it did. And you're shocked about it, and now it makes you feel demoralised. Yep. So feel more demoralised for me, which again is not a comfortable feeling, but the quicker we feel it and sit in it, the quicker it dissipates. And nice deep breaths as you feel it. Try and bring it up to a 9 or a 10 if you can. Do you feel that in your chest? Uh, I feel like my shoulders slumping yeah. down like that, I think. Nice. And what colour is it? Well, I haven't got a colour. No. Yeah. What shape? Oh, it's just a weight on my shoulders. Yeah, nice. Like a burden? Yep. Yep. So is the feeling demoralised now, or is it feeling burdened? Uh, yeah, maybe burdened, yep. Yeah, good, so it's shifted already. So just feel burdened for me. Yep. Feeling weighed down, yeah? Just, yeah, it's heavy. Yep. And nice deep breaths into burdened. That heavy weighed down feeling, is it? And it's weighed down by expectation, is that correct? Yeah, probably, and... Back to that shot that, you know, I, uh, I never used to do that, but I, I do it more often now. Yeah. And so are you starting to notice it's happening more often because maybe you're manifesting it based on how you're feeling? Definitely. Yeah. It, it's, yeah I can, I'm just waiting for the next bad shot yeah. instead of hitting a good one. Yeah. And it's funny, we always get what we focus on, right, whether yep. we're aware of it or not. Yep. Most of the we're... time it's subconscious, and so we attract it. Yeah. It becomes a where's this one going? Yeah. So you become doubtful and confused and not sure, yep. uncertain. Yep. So any of those ones stand out more than burdened? Oh, uh, no. No, just a, you know, the expectation thing. Cool. So it's the burden of expectation. Is that Would that be a good way to put it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Where do you feel that in your body? Uh, still in the shoulders and chest. Okay, so let's assume this has nothing to do with golf. This is something that happened usually between the ages of zero to seven, and that's usually how it works for every human being. We, we shape our personality, etc., at a young age based on our external environment, right? So is there, is there any memories associated with feeling burdened by expectation in your earlier life that come to mind? Oh, not immediately. No, so take deep, deep breath for me. Just tuning into the concept of burden with expectation. <clears throat> and just keep breathing into it for me. And just notice if anything pops up or floats up. At the same time, trying to bring on even more of that feeling of burden and of expectation. And keep breathing. And anything popping up? No. Only my mother. Yep. Cool. So your mum. Yep. Yep. So do you have a specific memory that's popped up or just your mum? Not really. No. Yep. Um, my mother was single mum. Father was killed before two weeks before I was born. Yep. So nice deep breath into you. Just the concept of your mum and her burden of expectation on you. What, what did that used to look like for you? 
Um, no, I don't feel that there was expectation from her. No. I think it was more from from myself. Yeah, because what you had to lift more because your dad wasn't yeah. there, or well, the, that was later in life, so not certainly not young. Yeah, but you're still feeling it at that time, right? So if I if I ask your subconscious to go back to the time or the first time you ever felt burdened by expectation, and it will take about two or three seconds. Yeah, swimming where is carnival. It? Swimming yeah. carnival. Perfect. Okay, nice deep breath. So I'm talking to you now at that time, all right? We're not in the present. We're actually in the past. And so tell me about that. Oh, they were constant. The family used to go. Yeah, so they're always watching you. Yeah, there were four, four kids. I was yeah. the youngest. Yeah, nice. Just nice deep breaths for me. And, and can you feel that in your body somewhere? No, not really. I'm... So just tell me, the at the first time it was first a problem, the first time you felt that burn of expectation, what was happening for you? Are you in the pool or are you about uh, to yeah, take yeah, off? I used to race. I was very young, used to race. Yeah. But it was, yeah, it was usually a good feeling. But there was no, no burden. No, but, and yet uh, that's the but, memory that's yeah, coming up. Yeah, yeah, everyone used to try and win and it didn't always win. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. But yeah. I don't remember it as a huge burden. Yeah. So just go back to your chest for me and fear of failure. Can you feel it? Uh, yep, heart rate went up straight away. Okay, so just again, breathe into it for me. I just want you to feel it even more. So the fear of failure, right? So failure is a feeling in its own right. And the fear of feeling failure is another feeling, right? So fear of failure will try and stop you feeling it. What I want to do is actually help you feel it. So failure by itself is a feeling. Where do you feel that? Oh, still the chest, shoulders. Yeah. So breathe into that for me. Just breathe into failure. On a scale of 0 to 10, how much do you feel it? Eight. Can you feel a nine for me? Yep. Can you feel a ten? Yep. Very good. So just sit in it for me. Take a nice deep breath. It's an interesting concept, right? You fear feeling failure, but now you're feeling it. How does it feel? Just a tingling sensation. Yeah, so is it something to be feared or is it just a feeling? It's just a feeling. Yeah, so uh, do you understand why I'm asking that question? Because you've been fearing feeling it, right? Yep. And therefore manifesting that golf. And now that you're feeling it, you've allowed yourself to feel it. Is it something to be feared? No. So it's just a vibration, right? It's just a different vibration to another feeling. Right? And you've given it a meaning. And what what was the meaning if you did fail? Usually not good enough. Yeah. So do you feel not good enough right now? No. Can you feel not good enough? And can you go back to a time or a memory when you first didn't feel good enough? Does a memory come up? No, not really. No. Does a concept of it come up somehow? Like it, it's dark or blocked or whatever mm. that you don't really want to go there? Probably, but no, not really. Yeah. Can you now feel maybe it? I had a 
uh, childhood of a lot of sport and as I said there was success and there was failure but there's nothing specific. Yeah, so but was was failure traumatic for you at a young age? No, not that I remember. No. And but when you did feel like you failed, did you then have an association or create a meaning for it called I'm not good enough? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I was certainly very competitive and didn't like losing anything. Yeah. That could be anything. Yeah. Cards, any, any game. Yeah. Had to win. Yeah. So what does winning mean to you? Probably accolades from others. Yeah. But does it give you those accolades? No. So it's like a false god in a, in a sense, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose there's reputation and what people think of you. Yeah. If you're winning. But do they think any different of you if you're losing? No. No. So just go back again to fear of failure. Can you still feel it in your chest? Yep. Yeah. What colour is it now? Well, it's a bright yellow orange. Yeah. And the shape now? No shape. Size? Chest. Yeah, good. So has it shifted and, and it's like brighter than it was? It's definitely brighter, it hasn't shifted. Yeah. And the temperature? Yeah, it's sort of coolish. Yeah, so yeah. it's shifting. Okay, good. And what's the feeling associated with it now? Uh, no, nothing really. It's just a light now. Yeah. So if we think about it before, how it was uncomfortable, is it uncomfortable yeah. now? No, there's a tingle, but it's not as uncomfortable as before. Yeah. So, so now I want you to feel just the feeling of failure. Where do you feel that in your body? Shoulders. Yeah. So, the shape of that? Well, it's just a weight on the shoulders. Yeah, so it's still there as a weight, a burden. Yeah, not yet. Or not as such now? No, not as bad. Okay, so just the concept of failure, how do you now feel about it? Oh, take it or leave it, really. Yeah, so nonchalant, sort of... Yeah, that's, that's how I want to be, yeah. yeah. Well, is that how you feel? I am right now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just for reference sake, just go back to the time failure and fear of failure and burden were first a problem, right? And we mentioned earlier the swimming pool, uh, the swimming carnivals. Yep. How do they feel now? Um, I remember them being more fun than failure. Yeah. Okay, now let's go back to the last time you were playing and the shank happens, or the first time rather, the shank happens and your friend said, hey mate, what are you doing? And you're a bit shocked. How does that feel now? Yep, okay, I want to laugh with him. Yeah, good. So it's shifted considerably, right? Yep. There's no charge there other than a positive, laughable charge? No. Yeah. So just again, going back to the failure, how do you feel about that now? Uh, so just a tingle sort of thing now. Yeah, and how about fear of failure? So you remember, failure is the real feeling, and fear of failure is fearing, feeling the feeling of failure. How does that feel yep. now? No, it's the same. It's just a sort of bit of a tingle over my shoulders and that. Um, so if you were to give them a feeling, like just give it a name, what's the name now? Uh, it's more a tingling sensation. Yeah. So can you just bring that on for me? So bring it up from a, what would you say it is now between zero and ten? The uh, tingle is about a five. Yeah, so try and bring it to a seven or eight. Because it's, is it, would you say it's more positive than negative? Uh, it's like the fear is actually lowering. Yeah. Going down, I, yeah. So let's flip it the other way. So let's just look at fear or failure. 
right? And yep. earlier we got it up to a, a nine and ten. Yep. On now, what is it on a scale of zero to ten? No, I'm only around a, a four. Yeah, so it's still there though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, so can you feel it even more for me? So we're just allowing yourself to feel it, feel it right? The fear of failure. And I want you to answer this as soon as I ask it. Which is has more charge, fear of failure or failure? The fear of failure. Good. So just sit in fear of failure for me. Nice deep breaths and try to increase it. So I guess by saying increasing it, we're just saying I want you to feel it even more, right? We just want to dissipate it by feeling it. Yep. So I just want you to take five deep breaths as you're feeling it. And you just keep doing that while I throw a few things at you. Shank at golf. Out of nowhere. Friends go, geez, that was that's not you, you're too good for that. It's a bit of a shock. Try and bring it on even more. Can can you even bring it on even more? Yeah, out of bounds. Yeah. So you fear of the out of bounds? Yep. Yeah. Is that a new Vision you've got, not just your mate. Were you doing a shank? No, 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 because it's one of the problems with it, uh, out of bounds. Is, yep. So your local course, out of bounds, will get your heart rate up uh, right away? Anyway. Yeah, and therefore you focus on it, and therefore you usually will hit it, right? Yeah, it doesn't happen often, but it happens yep. too much these days. So it's always in the back of the mind. Yep. So let's say you've hit the ball out of bounds, right? Yep. And it's over the fence. Just breathe into that for me. And breathe it even more. And breathe it even more. And it's over the fence. How do you feel? Yeah, heart rate up again. Yep. In the, so you're feeling this out of bounds in the chest? Yep. I've got to go through it again. It's a problem that I hit another one. Yeah. So so let's do that. So what? You've got to hit it again. Yeah. Craig Parry once said to me, "It's just a it's just a ball. It's yeah. nothing more than a ball." But we make it so much more than that, right? Yep. Yeah. But two shots. And, yeah. But you're good enough to pick up those two shots somewhere else. But that's another story. Yeah. So we want to feel it, right? So you've got the ball back on the tee. You've got the out-of-bounds there still. Last one went out-of-bounds. Tension, yeah, all time high there. Oh, so let's just breathe into that. And where is the tension? All over. Yeah, so nice deep breaths. Allow yourself to feel it. It's just a feeling. It's been made to mean something so much more significant, though, but it's just a feeling. So just feel the feeling. How would you describe the feeling? Uh, it's like a physical tingling, nearly shaking. Yeah. Is it uncomfortable? Very. Yeah. So just sit in it for me. And nice deep breaths as you try to feel it even more. And again, it's contradictory to what we do and know, but it's the fastest way out of it. Nice deep breaths. And just be aware of any other memories or vision or anything that pops up. This out of bounds. This failure feeling. No, it's very recent. I, I did it on the weekend. Yeah. I hit two out. Good. Two in a row. Yeah. I was one over the card and hit two in a row. So just breathe into it for me. How does it feel now? Well, it's slowly going. Yeah. Yep. How do you feel having felt it? Oh, I was uncomfortable. But yep. I feel a bit better now. 
Yep. So keep breathing nice and deep. So it's dissipating. Yep. So if that was the feeling and it's now dissipating, it's, it's shifting to another feeling, isn't it? Yep. I'm trying to feel, just feel calmer. Good. So let's just feel the feeling of calm. Yep. And bring that on even more. And again, really nice deep breaths into the area that you're feeling it and feel more calm. And even more. As you breathe in, feel it even more. Because it's a lot better feeling to feel, isn't it? Yep. Can you feel it? I'm relaxed, yep. Cool. Yeah. So I just want you to think again about that out of bounds. How do you feel? Uh, it's just happened. So it's just is sort of thing. Yep. Yeah, cool. So get over it. Yeah. So just breathe that for me, that concept, that detached feeling, that accepting yep. feeling, that calm, relaxed, oh, well, so be it yep. feeling. And where do you feel that? Just in the chest. Yeah, and it's a different feeling than before. Yeah, different vibration. Yeah. What colour is it? No, I haven't got a colour. Yeah, what shape is it? No shape. It's definitely smaller than the the tension I was feeling earlier. Yeah. So just feel it even more for me. And I'm going to ask you again. That out of bounds feeling. Is it? Does it there or? No. That fear of failure feeling, is that there? No. That failure feeling, is that there? No. That not good enough feeling, is that there? No. How do you know? What's it been replaced with? It doesn't matter. Yeah, so just feel that for me. It doesn't matter. Yep. Just feel it even more. Nice deep breaths. Just relax, calm, breath out. Just doesn't matter. Just washes away, right? Yep. All that worry for nothing is because it literally doesn't matter. No. It's not life or death. It's just a feeling. Nice deep breath. And another one. And as, I, as you take your breaths, I want to ask you a question. Is there anything else you feel you need to do on fear of failure at golf? No, really. Not really. Just accept it. Yeah. If things go bad. So keep feeling accepting for me now. Nonchalant. It is what it is. Just breathe that in. And now I want you to visualize yourself on the first tee or the second tee, doesn't matter, any tee at the end of a round, start of a round. What's the one thing that you can do that's going to support you in a positive way to feel accepting when you play golf? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Relax. And, and here's my next question. How do you personally relax? Like what's your anchor that we can create that allows you just to instantly... Just go into full relaxation. Yep, just breathe and be calm. Yep. And no, it doesn't matter. Yep. Yep. Could you even, at the time, if it starts coming on, go, okay, I can feel you. I can feel yep. the anxiety or tension or, or nervousness coming on. Just feel it. Just give yourself 15 seconds to breathe into it. Yeah. And then pull your attention back to your target on the fairway. Mm -hmm. How does that feel when I even suggest that? Yeah, no, that's, I feel better. Yeah. So you grasp the concept now of feeling is healing? Yeah. Yeah, and I guess that's what the homework is for you at golf is just feel. Whatever's going on, Not don't try to avoid feeling it, just feel it. It yeah. will disappear very quickly. Even if it means, you know, you might tee off last out of your four mates just so that you can give yourself time to breathe and feel. Yep. 
Okay, how do you feel right now? Yeah, better, relaxed. Yeah, and how do you feel about the whole concept of what we've talked about? Uh, good, uh, it's something I should be able to deal with. Yeah. So just one more test for me. Out of bounds, visualise. You've just hit it out of bounds. You're, you were shocked in the past, so over the fence, say, or, or into the bush, or into the yep. lake, or whatever. How do you feel? No, it's okay. Yeah. Yep. Very good. So is there anything else right now that you want to do, other than obviously we'll test it over the next few weeks when you're at golf, um, yep. and you'll give us feedback on that, but is there anything you feel that you want to do right now in relation to this? No, I feel much better about it. I feel I can uh, get myself in a calm state a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, I want you to take a deep breath into that concept. Just just a nice one minute, one second, last deep breath. <sighs> Knowing you're now in a different reality than you used to be uh, half an hour ago. Yep. And now... I feel calm. Yeah. Do you feel more in control? Yes. You're not letting the feelings now dictate how you feel. You're actually saying, thank you. You're telling me you feel that. I can feel that, and now I'm going to feel you, and very soon you won't actually be there. Yeah. That's kind of a liberating place to be, isn't it, rather than yeah, being it's good. beaten down by it? Yep. Okay, one more deep breath. And I want you to tell me your summary of what we've just done in one sentence or one paragraph, your understanding. I feel like I've gone from a position of tension and fear of where I'm going to hit a golf ball to being able to control that and get back to a calm state and that it doesn't matter if I do hit a bad shot anyway. And it makes me feel? Makes me feel better. Very good. Well, well done. Excellent, mate. I appreciate you going. Thank you, there. Andrew. Thank you. Yeah. So you keep in touch. You let us know how you go over the next few weeks. I'd love to hear how you go because obviously we haven't tested it in the golf environment. It's all been memory-based at the moment. But again, yep. you've now got a tool that you can utilise called feeling uh, to bring your focus back to what you want. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. It's very good. Quite interesting. All right, well, you keep in touch, and, um, yeah, it'd be great to hear how you go. All right, thanks, Andrew. All right, thanks, Greg. Talk to you soon. Well, there it is. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to share any questions in the comments below, and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more, so we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the search for scratch program.